What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and I know I said we do Primal Clash stuff, but I literally just got back from regionals. It is currently 1:46 a.m., and I just wanted to talk about my regionals experience and how everything went, and ran, and go over the deck I went, I did for regionals and everything, and explain my matchups and all the cards and the deck because I think it is a really good deck, even though the format kind of shifts away and. These decks don't matter anymore. I think it's still to go over the deck and uh, just uh, listen to the tournament report, I guess, if you want to see how good I did. Uh, I'm not going to be playing a game, so if you just if you don't want to hear me talk about my deck and s see how good I did at regionals, then just skip ahead and watch another video. But if you want to hear how how the deck works and everything and how I did at regionals, uh, I guess uh, let's listen along. But uh, I guess for those who don't know, I went to St. Charles Regionals in Missouri. Uh, and this is the deck I played. I played Obviously, I played... Uh, Evil Tall, Seismitoad, Baby Evil Tall Jinx. Uh, of course, we have Darkrai, Free Retreat, Night Spear. I don't think I ever Night Spear to once. I think I set up a Darkrai one game but never really used it. Uh, we do have Spirit Tomb. Just because of Stealing Scream, each player can't play any aspects from his or her hand. Oh, also, sh I should have said this right when I started. This is uh, my friend Justin Young's Deckless. This is actually the Deckless he used. To take four city wins, I'm like 99 percent sure. Uh, he also top 64 the event this weekend. He's done really good with it. Um, I think he said he's only changed three cards since he's made it. Obviously, it's really solid. It has a lot of good matchups, and uh, he convinced me to play it. I've been playing it about two or three weeks now. I don't know how many games I played with it. That's why I decided to go with it uh, because it does counter almost. It has almost an answer to almost every deck. Except like one, and uh, yeah, that one it wasn't. I mean, it was kind of played. It was I mean, straight Mega Manetric is what really hurts this deck. Just straight Mega Manetric kind of poops on this deck. Um, but besides that, it does have really good matchups across the board. I feel like. All right, but let's uh, let's keep with the deck. So like I said, uh, Spirit Team has the uh, Stealing Scream. Each player can't put any X from his or hand. This is mainly for Verizian Genesect, so they can't G-Boost you, because G-Booster does hurt this deck a lot. Uh, also, it's really good if you computer search and then you drop a Spear Tomb and your opponent hasn't played an Aspect. I've done that, I did that a lot in uh, Regionals. I would check my opponent's discard file and see if they haven't played their Aspect yet. And if I had that computer search and uh, Spear Tomb in my hand, I would computer search whatever way and uh, get a card, I guess, and whatever any card I need at the time and drop a Spear Tomb. So it was really nice to drop it. I've also I uh, started with an hex mirror a couple of times just because when your hand's kind of bad you shove your hand into your deck then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. I mean it's not that good but I mean when you don't have any supporters or any cards Spirit Tomb comes in clutch. Um, of course it's got uh, two baby evil tall. Baby evil tall has 130 HP so it's hard to knock out just by itself. Uh, Blue wing 30. Attach the dark energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So you kind of like you can ultra ball some dark sway turn one and start swinging with evil tall. And power up another Evil Tall EX. And of course, uh, Darkness Blade, flip a coin to tell us Pokemon can attack during your turn. I use Darkness Blade a lot against like Dawn Fan decks and stuff. Uh, Dawn Fan can't really hurt Evil Tall because all they can do is uh, maybe attach like a Muscle Band or Strong Energies and swing for 40. So, <clears throat> it's not really that much. They have to hit you for like 3 turns. No, 4 turns. So, uh, unless they keep like stacking Strong Energies. But we have a way to get rid of these Strong Energies too. Uh, we do play three Evil Talls, just because that is your main attacker in the deck. Oh, also, Evil Tall, Baby Evil Tall is good against, like, Suicune and Sigilyph. Uh, he did not, uh, Evil Tall did knock out a Sigilyph this weekend, too, against the Dawn Fan deck, so Evil Tall does some work. Uh, Evil Tall EX, of course, Evil Ball, in fact, does 20 more damage each, each time. Each damage, oh my goodness, sorry, I'm really tired. I'm like, I think I slept, like, six hours, six, seven hours this whole weekend. Uh, this deck does 20 more damage for each, 20 more damage times the amount of energies attached to both active Pokemon. So basically, base 20, the 20 for each damage, each energy on you and on the defending Pokemon. Uh, it starts adding up real quick. Of course, when you have a lot of energy on you and your opponent, you can start one shotting stuff really easily. And then White Cyclone, 90, move energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. I didn't really. I like some white cyclone. Some games. I know a lot of people like to white cyclone. I usually just like to go with a big evil evil ball, which is probably the. Uh, not that good of play, but that's what I do. I don't know. Um, seems to work out a lot more. 
Uh, of course, Jirachi, still a guidance. Uh, of course, it always kind of stinks when you start with him. It, it did happen to me a couple of times, but I mean, that's what happens in the nine round regional. You play best two out of three. But when you play this Pokemon from your hand, search onto your bench. You may search a deck for a supporter card reveal and put it in your hand. Obviously, it's really good to grab what you need, like a Lysander, a Juniper, of course. I uh, play one of those. And uh, Jinx. Now, a lot of people this weekend asked me why I play Jinx. I told her because I need a girlfriend this weekend, and uh, Jinx gives me, gives me Victory Kiss. Uh, for those who didn't know, if for some reason you're watching this in the future, or if you just didn't know, this weekend was Valentine's Day weekend, so... Jinx was my girlfriend in regionals, and she gave me she gave me kisses every game, so that was uh, pretty solid. But once during the turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may heal 10 damage from your active Pokemon. Uh, Jinx is really good against Donphin because they, like I said, <coughs> baby Utah maybe hits you for 40. Um, is maybe maybe 60 if they can get too strong energies. But you just victory kiss them off. And uh, you start healing damage down like that. It seems like 10 is not a lot, but I promise it starts adding up a lot in between turns and stuff. Um, and also, Jinx is really good with Toad. If you play against Toad and you're punching them for 30 and they're punching you for 30, you can heal for 10 and punch them for 30 and they punch you for 30 and heal 10. So basically, they're smacking you for 20s while you're smacking them for 30s. Uh, it might not seem, like I said, it might not seem like a lot, but I promise it starts adding up. Uh, against Bats, too. Jinx could kind of help against Landorus, maybe like heal. I don't. It like, the, like I said, the ten damage like doesn't seem like it matters, but it starts messing up your opponent's Pokemon, especially when like, all right, if I do this, then next turn I can knock him out. But if you heal that ten, then like, oh, like I gotta find a way to do that ten damage. So that's why Jinx is, uh, comes in pretty clutch. Uh, and now, <coughs> Seismitoad, if it'll pop up. Don't do this to me. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know if you hear my computer, it's uh, crying right now. It hasn't been used all weekend. But <laughs> Seismitoad has Quake of Punch, of course, uh, 30 damage, and your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand during his next turn. Um, his deck's really your Manetric counter, because obviously, Evotol is weak to Lightning, gets kind of pooped on it. Evotol gets, maybe Evotol gets kind of destroyed about. I mean, you could attack with Dark Eye, right, but I don't really like that option just because it's really hard to set up a Dark Eye right, because we don't play any energy switches in the deck. I think if you did play energy switches, you could go like aggro Dark Eye, right, but I never did. Uh, I just kind of used Toad, and that's how I beat Manetric EXs. Like I said, Mega Manetric is not that easy just because they can hit you for 110, while Manetric is only hitting you for 60. But you can actually be hitting them for like. Uh, you can actually hit them for 60 when you laser them. You don't want to attach a Muscle Man to size with ODX when you're playing against Manetric just because they can start hitting you for 120. Um, and like I said with Jinx, you start healing 10, so they're actually hitting you for like 50 and whatever. So that's where a side stroke comes in really good. Uh, we do play one computer search, just kind of um, consistency. Discard two cards, search for any card. Uh, we do also play three Crush Hammer. This is a card I really did like a lot if you do hit heads. You can, of course, slow down Verizon Genesect, uh, Verizon Touches Grass, Crushing Hammer, get it away. Now they have to waste another two turns to power for uh, Genesect. Also, against uh, Manetric, if you can get the Lightnings away, obviously they can't hurt you. I mean, I guess, I mean, they could just uh, overrun you for 20. But, like I said, Jinx heals you for 10, and now they're only hitting for 10. That's, like I said, like Jinx doesn't seem like it does a lot, but I promise, like, once you start figuring out stuff, Jinx is pretty clutch. But uh, if you can get the, cr the heads on Crush Hammer, obviously it's really good. Uh, we do play two Enhanced Hammer. Er I, every deck plays Special Energies, so every deck gets wrecked by Enhanced Hammer. Uh, four Laser, just because that plus 30 from the laser combined with the Vermic is really good. It helps with Evotol. Uh, usually if Evotol has a DC, a Dark, Muscle Band, and the opponent has two Energies, you just laser them and that's a knockout. I think it's right. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, yeah, 140. Then laser Vermink. yeah, that's, that's how I knocked out majority of my Pokemon. Only three energies on Evotol, while they have two. Majority of Pokemon need two energies to attack, so that's how, kind of how you uh, do really good Evotol. Like I said, Evolts really, really strong. Uh, two switch now. Uh, switch did so much work this weekend. I started like Evotol or like Evotol EX so much, and I'm like, all right, I have a switch Ultra Ball DC. Guess we're attacking Toe turn one. And I mean, when I did that, like my opponents were like, "Oh, well, I can't do anything." Like, I he quake a bunch of turn one, 
And we, yeah, that's what happens when you play two switch. So two switch, really good idea. I loved it a lot. Uh, deck play three Ultra Ball. Uh, I don't think you sh like some people say you should play four. I think three is enough just because you don't have that many search Pokemon. I mean, you're gonna draw into the Evil Talls. I mean, most sometimes you have to search with Dark Eye, but you mean you have Switch and Dark Eye, so you're just drawn to him. Uh, most of the time, in your Ultra Ball, you want to get Jirachi. Not so much Jinx, uh, maybe Toad, but I mean, you put a bump it up to four just to help with Jirachi. That's the only thing I would kind of um, agree with. Uh, two verse Seeker. Uh, in all my other videos, I've been playing four, but Justin had a a point. If you're playing against Toad, you don't want to play that many Verse Seeker just because it comes useless and you can't play a supporter. Uh, Verse Seeker, of course, put a supporter card from your Disco Pile into your hand. And if Toad is punching you, you can't, uh, of course, grab a supporter with Verse Seeker, so why not play more supporters instead of that way? So he does play three cores. Now, some people will be like, whoa, three cores? That's a, that's a lot, turn one. If you start cores, you're going to cry. But Colors is really good. Your bench is usually filled up, and nowadays your opponent's benches are filled up too. Um, so you're usually drawing like 8 to 10 cards, which is really strong. Uh, 2 Lysander, um, I wish it kind of played 3, um, but 2 worked good. Um, sometimes you're not doing that much damage, like you don't have enough damage to knock out something. Or with Evital, I mean of course you never have enough attack with Evital, but like if you damage somebody with Evital, you can just Lysander up and kill with Evital EX, or something like that. You know, yeah, Lysander's good, you know. You killed, I killed Jirachis all the time, like by sending them up and Y Cyclone for knockout. Uh, that's pretty good. That's the only time I think of Y Cyclone is when I killed Jirachis, too. Um, unless I was trying to, like, an Evil Tall was going to die, then I'll Y Cyclone, like, a DC off or something. Uh, four in. Of course, these probably shuffles their hand into your deck. Draw as many prize cards remaining. Press a Juniper. Discard your hand. Draw seven. Uh, three Verbink, I really like a lot just because everybody's playing their own stadiums now. Everybody has their little stadiums. So, three Verbink, uh, really good. Just uh, play the game more or counter stadium more. Now, four Muscle Band. This was so solid. Um, turn, like, you want to try to get Muscle Bands as quick as you can, like Evil Talls and Seismic Toes, so that way they can't, like, German at you or Head Ringer you or anything special like that. So, uh, four Muscle Bands really good. Never ran out of muscle band. I don't think it's too many. Four is really, really good. Four DC, of course. Yeah, just because of powers with Evital EX, Jirachi. And also can help retreat Darkrai if need be. And Evital, they both have two retreat calls. Everybody else has one. Well, Toad has three. If they've lied to Toad, you might as well just quack and punch with it. And then eight Dark. Uh, I think eight's a solid number. Twelve energy is usually how many decks play nowadays. So this is the list. Um. I'm going to go over the people I played against. Uh, I'm not going to go into too detail because I can't really remember right now. And like I said, it's like almost two now. So, um, it's not going to be... I, I'll just tell the main highlights. So, um, round one, I'm playing against Caleb Higdon. I think that's how you saw his last name. Um, he's playing Gorgeist Dustnor. Uh, of course, Gorgeist is weak. To dark, but he played uh, hard charms in his deck too, which is pretty good. Um, one of the decks I was considering was Virgin Genesex, so like if he had hard charms, uh, a Dust Snore, you can't one shot it with um, Genesex, you had to like G booster it or something crazy. It's a uh, I don't know, it's not, I don't know, seems really good. I struck us against Evil Tall Lasers just because you can like laser them, and uh, I think game one, I just like. Quake a bunch of them like over and over again, and he couldn't get like he played like roller. I think he played roller skates. I know he played maintenance, and he played like people were like he played maintenance. That's so weird, but no, it's really good because he played electrode, so he maintenance like two cards away, and like shuffle man and draw a card, and then like he can be like okay electrode and like draw more. So if he's not playing against size field, It's a really good matchup. Um, also, I think Evital with the no Evital the most man doesn't knock it out, but uh. <coughs> um, I mean, even tall X one shots it. Oh yeah, yeah what about the, with dark weakness? I already figured out. Yeah, yeah. So even tall can one shot the gore guys because they have 100 HP with the muscle band. You just kind of knock it out that way. That's really good. Uh, crush hammer is really good because you like if you crush hammer the uh, psychic energies way, he could have used the second attack split pain. I think it's what it called, which you uh, put both Pokemon's HP down to 10, um, <laughs> and then if you laser them, obviously it knocks it out. But, um, like I said, I was mostly attacking on Scythe just so he could do anything. He never got a Dustner out either game. I'm, like, 99% sure. 
I know game two he prizes only rare candy. I'm pretty sure he only hit one if I remember talking correctly with him afterwards. But I mean, it was a solid deck that he had. Um, he ended up doing I think five three one. Yeah, I think five three one. So yeah, he did good overall. I mean, it's a a rogue deck that I didn't, I didn't think about. Like I was like Pumpkaboo. Like, but it was the other Pumpkaboo, and I was like, what is? I don't know what this card does. What are what are we doing here? So that's a fun round one. Um, so next round I'm playing against Steven Singer. Let me see. Um, so he's playing Metal. Now Metal has a good. I obviously I want to run. Sorry, but Steven Singer he's playing Metal. Um, Evil Saw has a good matchup against Metal, just because like I said earlier, you can kind of just like one shot stuff once you have two energies on it. Um, but I think I pick on his uh, Bronze Wars and like knock him out and stuff, and he can't really do anything. Um, and I don't know, you just go aggro Evil Tall and kind of knock stuff out. Uh, I do play the enhanced sabers and stuff. I'm trying to think if you play anything weird. Uh, I don't think you played a counter stadium. He did play max potions, so that was a little. It did. Uh, it kind of messed me up there. Um, of course, when he Chrono win me, like try to Chrono win me, I can like retreat with Dark Cloak and then switch back to Evil Tall and kind of like one shot Diagos that way and stuff like that. Um, besides that, I, I mean, he was a nice guy. I can't remember much better match. It's just that Evil Tall can kind of just one shot the, like all of his Pokemon and stuff. Um, I know Chris Fullop will argue with me and say that he could beat me, but we'll see. Maybe me and Chris should play and see what happens. We almost played. Me and Chris almost played. We were missed by one table. Um, so I won that match. Um, next up, I'll play against Chris DeRocher. DeRocher? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But he is playing Don Fan. I'm feeling pretty solid because, um, like, this matchup has a good Evil Tall. I mean, Don Fan matchup. But game one, I kind of make a mistake and I, um, I don't White Sonic Clone when I should. And he actually drops a Dedini and one shots my Evil Tall. And I'm like, oh man, this. Like, it's hard for me to be mad at Pokemon. Like, I'm, like, truly, like, a happy person. So when he did that, I was like, oh, that is amazing. Uh, I couldn't get a Tyson Tony either at game one. So he ends up beating me game one. Game two, I get an early Seismic Toad, Quake a Punch, Quake a Punch, Quake a Punch. You can't play Ultra Balls or anything to get Pokemon out. I win that one. Uh, game three, I don't play a supporter for, like, five or six turns and lose. So, <laughs> I guess game one when I did evil uh, Y Cyclone to move the energies off so Didini couldn't kill me, uh, but I didn't see the Didini coming. I don't remember it being on the bench. It might be on the bench and I didn't pay attention. But uh, it was a pretty good good game. I can't be uh, too salty about it. He didn't make it top 32, so congrats to him. Uh, next up, I played against Tim Bajimi. It's Bajim. Tim, I look your name's too hard to pronounce. Uh, he knows who I'm talking about. Uh, he is playing Toad Garbodor. Now, this matchup is uh, pretty nice. Like I said, I do have the Tyson Toads to uh, Quake a Punch and the Jinx to heal. In game one, I do just that. I uh, Tyson Toad and put a Headring on him. I mean, uh, Muscle Band on me before he can Headring on me. And I'm Quake a Punch and he can't attach a Muscle Band. He was like a DC for like multiple turns. So I end up winning game one. Game two. Uh, yeah, I remember like turn one, I had like a Switch... Ultra Ball, DC in my hand, Muscle Band, and uh, I started Toad, and uh, of course he does get a head ring on my Toad first, and I was like, alright, let's 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 Ultra Ball, and my other Toad's prize, and I was like, no, what am I going to do here, so I, my other Toad's prize, so I was like, alright, let's see what happens, so I attached a DC to active, Ultra Ball for like a Jirachi, and Juniper, but his turn, he enhanced hammers a Toad, and starts quite a punch me, and I'm like, oh, well, that's great, so I went really downhill there, uh, I think that game was over real quick. I know game one was like really, really long, I think. Maybe game two was really long. And one of those two games was really long. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Um, game three, I, I don't play a supporter. I think I played Lysander once or something. Like, I just played one supporter once. So, two two, two matches in a row where I don't play a supporter. Um, which, I mean, that's, that's Pokemon. It happens. It's going to happen. Let's see, round five, I'm playing Michael Slutsky, 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 <coughs> oh, sorry about that, um, he's playing Fairies, uh, man, I'm trying to remember this matchup, I do remember he played Minetric X, I didn't see that game one, I know game one I beat him, and, 
I can't really remember anything crazy about it. I think maybe Toad did work. If you, I mean, against fairies, they can't heal if you punch, punch them, punch them, punch them. Eventually, you can, like, switch and, like, knock out one of their Pokemon. Um, game 2, he, uh... He surprised me. I didn't see the Manetric all game one. I'm like 99% sure. Game two, I like accidentally. He drops a Manetric and like me being silly, I accidentally catch a Muscle Band to Evil Tall X. And he's like, oh yeah, give me that. So next turn, he like likes Andrews. Kill my Evil Tall. Takes two free prizes. If if he didn't do that, I think I could have maybe won game two. I can't remember exactly what happened. But game three, uh, I eventually won. I can't recall what really happened. Um, I know I was having fun. I don't know. I know I was goof around. He was a good, good, good man. Um, I seen him around. I just haven't played him before. We, but I'm glad we finally met and talked and stuff. Uh, next round I'm playing against James Arnold, and uh, this is the round. So I lose. I mean, I win that one. So if we're keeping record. I'm currently what three, three. No, wait, one, two. No. Uh, sorry, sorry. Three, two. Right now. So three, two. So we're going to round six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, round six. Okay. Like I said, round six was against James Arnold. All right, there we go. Caught up. And so James Arnold was playing like Mega Manetric Rush Ram, and that like that's it. Like nothing else. Like <laughs> uh, I I lose. Like I can't really do nothing with Mega Manetric. Like I tried. Like, I got some like. Crucial crushing hammers off, but like it didn't matter. Like he just like, all right, well I'm just gonna keep pounding up a um, evil, like, evil tall X and like what's evil tall? I mean, <laughs> pounding up Manetric EX. Sorry, and once he starts like swinging like one ten, one ten, one ten, like I can't do anything. Like one ten's a lot of damage. Like even with Toad, like he can quite a punch with Toad, but like what do you do? Like I could even power up a Dark Ride because I would not try with the evil tall. He just one shot the Dark Ride, and there's no way I can like. All right, I guess I'm gonna goof around and like he played max potions too so yeah I lost that one that was that was actually like a loss like that was a that was a like a, like I can't do anything lost um round so we're now we're at 3-3 uh so this round I'm playing against Benjamin Larson um if I remember correctly he's playing Rizzy and Genesect but he has a he has a twist he is playing uh lasers in his build so that was uh, pretty good Round one, um, we're doing pretty good, and there was one turn I stayed asleep, so I could I didn't wake up, and that was like a really crucial crucial point because I remember I could knock out his Avrizi and like swing the game in my favor, but since Evotal stayed asleep, coming back to his turn he could knock out my Evotal, and I was like, oh that's that stinks like that no, okay, but I didn't draw a switch. Um, I'm pretty sure I played the sport and didn't hit a switch. Game two, I, uh, I, it was all day what it did, and I did work. Um, I think game one, I still missed a lot of crush hammers, but game two, I hit heads, and that's how you beat it was all. And I, I got Spirit Team game all three games, so it was like, it was really close games. Uh, it was really fun. And then game three, times called, and, um, we just, I don't know, tie, obviously. But we do play it out, and I do eventually win that one, so, I mean, if we had like, I think five to ten more minutes, I would have won. Um, but oh well, that's Pokemon. Yeah, you know it happens. Ties happen. Not the best thing in the world. Can't really complain. Still get a point for it. Uh, next up, playing Lewis Thompson. He's a uh, my friend from Memphis. At this point, I'm three three one, sitting at what <laughs> ten points. Uh, we figured out like sixteen is bubble for top sixty four. And Lewis knows I like. He's like, man, Squeak, you need you need the points for world. I'm not really doing anything. No matter what happens, I can't get, you know, the points don't really matter. We can't top 32. He's like, I just, I just gave you the win. He was playing metal. I feel okay about the matchup. Like I said earlier, you just kind of beat, like, beat stuff with Evatol that way. Um, besides that, I don't know. I'm glad Lewis is a good sport. And uh, next round, I'm playing against Alan Otter. Um, he's playing Don Fan. Now, like I said, Don Fan. I do have a really good matchup against Don Fan. Uh, he didn't play Dedini, though. So that's really good. I don't have to worry about that card in this matchup. Um, but I do get like I do get a lot of crushing hammer heads and hand stammers and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> I keep getting the life standards when I need it to knock out his Don fans. Like when he hits like two energies on Don fan, I one shot him evil all and stuff like that. Just kind of help me there. Uh, this kind of the like 
if Don fan players don't separate the energy, you kind of just like punish them and kill like their only Don fan with two energies, and like I don't know what I do now. Um, <coughs> and like I said, I do play the Evil Tall, which does have the resistance right here, so it's pretty good. And we do have the Jinx to kind of heal it when Dolphin smacks it. And as soon as they attach like a strong energy or something, you get enhanced hammer. Uh, sometimes, like, I mean, you could, like, crush and hammer to try to get the strong energies away. I mean, the regular energies away. But, I don't know, sometimes I waited just to see if I can get discard the special energies. Unless I had a Juniper, of course, I'd, like, crush and hammer. But, uh, I just, like, felt like saving for strong energies or the DCs. So, uh, he did play, like, Wobbuffet and Sigalith. I do remember like uh, Darkness Blade. I think I Darkness Blade twice that game, because Darkness Blade and the Laser once I was, um, uh, with Don Fan and Darkness Blade once I was Siglyph, so that's really good. So I end up <coughs> winning that game. So I end up five three one. Like I said, two of my losses uh, were like one game. With, like I lost one of those games because of dead draw. I'm not saying I could have won. I don't know. Dead draws. You know, you always like if I drew, I don't know. Like, maybe I could have won. But I'm um, like it doesn't matter either way. Uh, one of the losses, I mean, it's just, just I mean, like I can't do anything about Mega Manetric. and the tie. I mean, ties happen. It's Pokemon. Uh, at least uh, we do get a point out of that. But uh, that's my regionals five through one, and I get seventy first, whipping top sixty four. Uh, Silas is kind of I don't know. I mean, he wasn't that salty. Uh, I think only like four, maybe. 16, maybe 2, it was like 4 or 2, I can't remember exactly, 60 points made it in, so, I was, 1 win, and or, like, tie, I mean, like, a lost tie, I would have been in, <coughs> that's okay, um, I had fun, I met a lot of cool people, I talked to a lot of people there, um, always cool experience at regionals, get to talk to my friends and everything, and, um, yeah, that's, that's my regionals, uh, and now I'm going to switch over to I uh, next day they had a Lee challenge and I wanted to play my my baby Rizzy and Genesect just because that was the deck I was just like I was either gonna play Evil Tall Rizzy and Genesect so I'll show you my Rizzy and Genesect list I mean it's well I'll explain in a second when you see it so I uh, see in like point five seconds but like three seconds for me all right all right so that's uh pretty quick enough right like I think the transition was pretty quick. <laughs> But, uh, so this is my lead challenge deck that I played day two. Um, I, I don't know, like I said, this was the deck I was thinking about playing, this or Evotol. I decided to go with Evotol just because I did play a lot more games of that, and because the week before, Vrizzian did do good at the ECC, so I was scared of, like, maybe Vrizzian hate. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't play, like, besides a Mega Manetric Restaurant deck, I didn't play any, like, really Vrizzian heavy hate decks. So, I mean, maybe it would have been a good call, I, who knows. Like, I think I might have lost round one, like I said, against the Dustnor, Gorgeist thing. Um, and then everything throwing out the window, who knows what would have happened. But this is uh, my baby. This is actually uh, Brit by Pipusless. I think it's like two or three cards different. Um, I think it's like two or three. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember when he, gave me the, when he showed me the deck list, and I was like, oh my goodness. This looks amazing because the four verse seeker. That's when I fell in love with it and started playing four verse seeker and almost air all my decks. Um, but this is the list. Uh, like I said, it was the league challenge. Uh, I think the league challenge had like 60 through 80 people. I don't, know, I don't know how many people had it. Like I said, I was just there to goof off. I didn't have nothing else to do Sunday. My friend Justin Aaron made top 32 with a Flareon, and so we were waiting around to him to see what would happen. And uh, I didn't want to play more Pokemon. Like I came to regionals playing more Pokemon. So this is the uh, list. We'll go over real quick. I'll try not to be too long on the list. Of course, it's kind of we did go over both these decks before, Vrizzian and Evil on other decks. But Genesect right here. Uh, main thing: ability, Red Signal, attach a Plaza Energy, bring up a Pokemon from the bench. Uh, Megalo Cannon, 120 damage, 20 opponents bench Pokemon. Uh, Megalo Cannon does come in clutch in the lead challenge. Not to ruin anything, but wow, we'll get to the stories in a second. Uh, Vrizzian X does have Verdant Win when you have any Grass Energy stats to any Pokemon. It can be affected by special conditions, so no lasers or any shenanigans like that. And of course, Emerald Slash 50 and attach two, gra two Grass Energy cards from your discard pile to one. I mean, from your, from your deck, not from your discard pile. They'd be broke. I don't know how broke that'd be. But <laughs> you attach it when you bench Pokemon. Of course, you want to attach it to good old boy Genesect. So next turn you get Megalo Cannon and or G Booster. But um. I can say one Jirachi. I think he ever did one Jirachi. Why not? 
Uh, and of course, one deox and of course, I get right knows. <laughs> everybody, I think everybody should play one deoxys in their Genesect. Of course, if you're playing that one one Golbat thing, um, that could work too. But uh, deoxys is really good. Like it helps the one shot Don fan. If you Ember Slash with the Muscle Band to do 70, and you're probably gets in 180 HP Pokemon. You can Mega Low Cannon with the Gen with the deoxys for 110. Uh, Deoxys can tank a turn. <laughs> Both of these situations, Mega Cannon and Deoxys taking are the same game. It was pretty good. Uh, three energy switch just to help with G booster in and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, two enhanced hammer. It's just uh, really good to get rid of DCs. Um, I don't know anything. Eh, eh, like I said before, all decks play special energies. Uh, one escape rope. Yeah, it's like another red signal or something like that. It's a uh, pretty nice way to get around Pokemon if need be. Uh, also, if you plan to get something who sends like a, a wide effect, you can use a uh, escape rope to get around it, so then you get to touch a plasma energy, something like that. Professor Letter, just to help search for two basic energy cards with Skyla. Uh, two Switch, just in case they life send or something up that doesn't have energies attached to it. Uh, I play one Team Plasma Ball. Um, I mean, not me. The list. The list. Play one Team Plasma Ball, which you search deck for Team Plasma Ball. Put Team Plasma Pokemon, put it in your hand, and uh, shuffle your deck. Of course, you can get. Genesect and or Deoxys, um, really good because you can scale the one for it and not have to discard anything if need be. Uh, now the Tool Retriever, I really really like, just because I knew this is the ECC, the uh, little fairy thing with he with uh, Jaminets did good. Like I knew that like all the people were gonna be playing Jaminets and all the fun stuff, so uh, Tool Retriever was fun. Uh, tool Retriever did some work and got rid of some headringers and fun stuff like that. And, uh, just slap muscle bands back on them. Uh, three Ultra Ball. Um, we do play technically four search engine cards in our deck. Uh, pretty good. Now, four versus Seeker. Oh, it's so good. Um, just because, like, even if you're playing against Toad, like, Toad is where, like, the ver four versus Seeker become bad. But just because Toad has weakness on grass, you kind of don't worry about Toad that much. Uh, plays one course just because you're not really filling your bench up that most of the time. Like, it, usually you're usually not filling your bench to a like, really, really late game. So that's only play one. We do play one Lysandre. No, Lysander. Lysander. Um, Jay Woods and Puka both said that it's called Lysander now. I forget what really. I think it said on TV show or something. So it is called Lysander. Not Lysandre. It is Lysander. So, of course, um, this is just so you can, like, Jirachi for it. Or if you don't have a positive energy, you can bring it up. It's a. Uh, it's. I promise. It's really good. Or if you don't have a uh, Genesect out, you can Lysander and then Amber Slash a Spread C something. Uh, four in, of course, four Juniper. Now my clutch, my baby, right here, Pokemon Center League. Look how ha she is so happy. Heal 60 damage from one of your Pokemon move all special conditions. Uh, this is just messes up with math. Like let's say if you have uh, Genesect or Virizion have 140 HP and you need a Heal 60 so that way it doesn't get Night Spear next turn. Pokemon Center Lady does that. <laughs> I mean, healing 60 damage is really good too. Against Donphan, it like kind of like get rid of a turn. If they don't like, if they do like 80, you can heal 60 and you're at 20. They're like, oh man, I still got to hit it twice now. Uh, one Shadow Tried, you can get back Genesect, Deoxys, T Plasma Ball, Coerce, but makes most right here. Again, this boy right here, Plasma Energy. Good old catcher. Uh, three Skyla, it's, uh, just a good turn one supporter to get. Professor Lighter, Ultra Ball, G Booster, Bolsa Ben. Uh, I guess we need enhanced hammers. And of course, your boy, G Booster, uh, your A Spec. Also, uh, just FYI for those who don't know, you can attach G Booster to any Pokemon you want to, but you can only use the attack with Genesect and not another Pokemon. Um, there was a situation where. Somebody was asking me if they can attach a G booster to any Pokemon. I was like, yeah. And I was like, why did you ask that? And he's like, because I wanted to attach it to my Frisian, so that way they couldn't head ringer me because I didn't have a muscle band in hand. And I was like, well, yeah, you can. And there's a long story. But yeah, you can attach G booster to uh, any Pokemon you want to. So, future reference uh, three muscle band, just because it's good to slap him over Frisian, do 70, and uh, set up knockouts because most EXs have 170 HP. And if not, like I said, we do play the Deoxys to 10 more damage. Too much, yeah, we do too much damage. Uh, four plasma energy on. I know I didn't go over this, but the Deoxys only gives 10 more damage to for plasma Pokemon, so it doesn't get the boost with Frizzian. 
just that point they don't have to edge case. Uh, plasma energy we do play four just because it does go with our red signal right here. Just kind of like a catcher, an automatical Lysander, whatever you want to say, what it is, whatever you're thinking about. It does bring a Pokemon from the bench to be active without wasting a supporter and ten grass just because uh, that is your heart and soul of the deck. And uh, that's the list. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a really really good list. Uh, it has really solid matchups across the board. Of course you're gonna lose to like Flareon and like. Pyroar. I mean, you can maybe beat Pyroar if they get a slow start. But, like, Flareon, you're going to lose. Uh, Metal's kind of a bad matchup. If you, like, you can kind of, like, bring up the Bronzors, Bronzors and kill them before they, like, evolve into Bronzongs. Um, but just because Diablo EX can't do 170 over and over again to your Pokemon, it kind of hurts that way. Sorry about Yana. Alright, and, uh, that's the deck. Right, let's go over the Leech Challenge real quick. So round one I'm playing against Kevin Norton. Uh, turns out he's playing Toad Puff, but he has a surprise in there. It is Victini with, um, he plays Fire Energies. No, he does play VPs. He just plays Computer Search. Um, <clears throat> the game comes down really, really close. It comes down to me coin flipping. Okay, I, I'll tell you what happened. So, there was a turn. I licensed up a toad. Like I think we both have two prizes left. Yeah, we both have two prizes left. I'd licensed up a toad and uh, smack it for 140 with uh, Brizzini X. All right, we'll, we'll go before that. What am I talking about? We're not even starting from the start of the story. I remember this a lot because the league challenge was today. While well, I was at the regionals, it was yesterday. So I was like, I remember more of this. Um, he kept attaching DCs to Victini. And I just kept like enhanced hammering the the Victini's like the Victini's DC, so that way he couldn't do uh whatever the second I can't remember what it's called right now and for some reason, but uh, it does 200 uh, to me, so yeah, that's uh, kind of what Victini does once it has a DC and a fire. But every time he touch DC, I would like like enhance hammer off. So I got two, I got two DCs off, but I couldn't draw to a Genesec fast enough, so. Uh, Victini ends up taking four prizes, which is, but I end up, like, I knock out a Toad, he sees a Victini, eventually knocks out two Verizians, and then, or Verizian and Genesect, then I can knock out his, uh, Victini with, uh, Genesect, and then, I get Crush Hammer, some energies off, and I'm sitting there, waiting, Wait, no, no, no. What am I thinking? Hold on. I don't remember how I played it. I don't think... I think he knocked out a Genesect and a and I didn't have another Verizian. Or another Genesect, but my Verizian ends up taking a knockout somehow. I can't remember how right now. God, I just, I just said I remember this, but I can't remember right now. I don't know. Just know that Tini took four prizes, and I took a Scythe Toad and did Tini down. And... <clears throat> I couldn't get a Genesect early, like I said, so I was attacking with Verizian a lot. Um, but the end of the game... Uh, it's pretty close. I license up a, a seismic toad and do 140 with Emerald Slash. And then, um, he cats it, like, next turn he cats sees it up, and I'm like, whoa, that's amazing. Like, I, I can't be mad at that. So, uh, I love that card. And he sends up a toad and just keeps punching me. And then next turn, I think, like, one of my Pokemon had, like, really low HP or something. Like, something was happening. I can't remember exactly why. I did this, um, but I dropped the, like, I had a Genesect positive energy in my hand, this way, like, he switched, I could still have the win next turn, so, um, after that, I just drop a Genesect and bring up another Toad or something, and, um, <coughs> no, no, I don't bring him another Toad, I kill one of his Toad Puffs, like, his little, little Slurpuff thingies, I kill that, and so he has a baby Slurpuff on the bench, and I have, like, a way to get another positive energy in my, from my hand to kill one of his, uh, Another little surf of thingies or something, but um, he ends up like lysing up my Genesect and <clears throat> crushing hammer, not crushing hammer, um, lasering, put me to sleep, punching me for 80. My turn, I flip a coin and it's tails. So, uh, go back to his turn, it does a uh, 110. Uh, he did 80 to me total because of 50 and then poison, and I don't have a grass energy, but it's by the end of the game now. Uh, he also hit some crucial head flips that on crushing hammers and stuff. So that's how he beat me there. So I ended up losing. 
Round one to what's probably like an auto win even with the Victini. I just couldn't get an early Genesect now, which kind of stinks. But that stuff happens. Uh, round two, I'm putting it's Austin Ellis. Um, I can't remember much about the game. Our game ended really quick is all I remember. He's playing like Mega Manetric, if I remember correctly. Which we can just one-shot with the, uh, the Genesect. I want to say it's Mega Manetric Restroom. I wouldn't say that, but also, like, I remember Mega Manetric Restroom from the f day, from the regional, so I could be wrong. I just remember, like, I, and, like, I think I beat him, like, really quick. I could be wrong. Also, if you watch this, like, help me jog my memory. I just remember the next game we played, he was like, I can't play new cards against you? I was like, yeah, man, we'll play new cards. Uh, I just played VG, of course. I don't, I don't own any of the new stuff. And, uh, he, he plays a really, really good deck. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to give away any secrets. It's a really, really good deck. So, he surprised me. Parmaclash got some good cards in it. I, like I said, I don't want to give away secrets. I didn't, I didn't ask him for permission to do that. But uh, he beat me in that game. So, uh, it's pretty, pretty props to him. I didn't think about that combination, what he did. If you're friends with Austin, go ask him. Uh, if you're not friends with Austin, don't ask him. Like, I, I don't know. If he comments in the video, like, down in the section, like, yeah, yeah, this is my deck. I'm like, oh. Let him, I'll let him tell. I don't want to ruin anything. I'm going to ask him. Um, next next round, I'm playing against Raymond Lane. So I end up winning that one, like I said. So I'm 1-1 one, one right now. I'm playing against Raymond Lane. And we start talking, and he's like, yeah, Shaman. I'm like, yeah, I love Shaman, too. I'm only like, tell, I tell him in that story, like, how I played Shaman Copper Gigas Milotic on day two regional thing, uh, day two regionals at Nationals, whatever. Um, I went 05, whatever, but, I mean, it's really fun just to blow up Copper Gigas and Milotics and try to one-shot stuff with Shaman. And, uh, lo and behold, he's playing Shaman, Milotic, Raichu, Electrode, and Dragonite. So, uh, we're playing a game, and we're playing, and, uh, all of a sudden he, like, busts in with the Dragonite, kills my Grizzly, and I'm like, holy, that's amazing. But then I G-Boost his Dragonite, and, uh, I don't know, like, he didn't have that great of setup, and he missed some crucial cards. I think I killed, like, an early, like, Electrode. Or, or early Voltorb, so he could never get Electrode out and stuff. I mean, it's a really good concept. Because uh, you can, like, blow up your, um... You, you want to bust in with Dragonite and, like, kill something if need be. And then you can start using Shaman at the end. Um, and he has Raichi for Evital, obviously. Um... <coughs> So, I mean, it was a good deck. I it was uh, nifty. Anything with Shaman EX, I don't, I don't good or bad Shaman. It's in the deck. Who cares? <laughs> it made me happy. But I didn't win that round. Uh, next up, I'm playing Gregory Smith. Uh, he is playing Don Fan. And I actually like this matchup. Don Fan's like one. Like, everybody's like, who Don Fan's a bad match for Rizian. But I, I love it now. I'm so, like, I'm played it so much at Cities. I know exactly how to do it. Uh, I mean, like I said, we have Pokemon Center Lady to heal the damage from Don fans. We have the enhanced hammers to get rid of strong energies. We one shot with stuff with Genesex with Deoxys. Um, <coughs> the, game, the game's really close, though. Like, closer than I want it to be. Um, I make a bad misplay. Uh, I attach. <laughs> what one thing? Okay. So, his Don fan. Like, I have one prize left. He has two. And, uh, his Don fan has. 20 damage on it, and I'm like, alright, so I rest it on up, and I drop like 4 Pokemon, and I have 5 on the bench now, and it's like Deox, it's like Jirachi, a couple of Rizians, and a Genesect, and I course, I'm like, alright, if I get the Muscle Band, I win right now, but I don't, I whiff the Muscle Band, and I draw into the Deoxys, and I'm like, oh no, I don't have a space for Deoxys, I could have won this turn, what am I doing, and uh, I'm crying, like, I'm not crying, but I'm like, I'm like I'm really nervous all of a sudden. And, uh. Uh, I mean, so I whiff, and, uh, now he just needs a catcher or a life center next turn to bring up one of my bitch Pokemon. I had, like, two Pokemon with, like, 120 HP. Like I said, it's not what I wanted to do. But, um, he was the life center, and next turn I just knock out his Pokemon, so. I think that's how it goes. I'm, like, 99% sure of something like that. So. I know he with the Lysander, and I with the I misplayed by not dropping the Deoxys. So it was a it was a fun game. He was a good good guy. Um, 
trying to remember anything else crazy about that game. He didn't play anything. He played Wild Fed, but doesn't doesn't matter because I played Lysander and stuff. And uh, you can kill Haluchas early enough with Rizian, and if you can like crush like a handsome way, they're for strong energy stuff. You're pretty good. You're in a good position. Uh, the strong state of kind of hurts like a lot. But uh, besides that, I think it's a good matchup. Uh, so next round, I'm going to Jeremiah Williams. Uh, I'm excited. I, I know Jeremiah from seeing him really do, do good, really at like events and stuff, and I'm excited to play against a really good player. I think I, mean, I think he's a really good player. Could be wrong though. Um, so he's playing fairies, and uh, he flips over four ghosts, and I flip over Rizian, and uh, we start going. Um, <coughs> so I go first. And I, of course, you know, Muscle Band, Grass Energy, Pass, and his turn, and something, 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 drops his Spritzy and some other stuff. My turn, Touch the Grass, I don't have a supporter still, so I have Lice, I have Lice in her hand, so I'm like, oh, I guess I'll Lice in that Spritzy, and I kill it, top two cards, and draw a card, and still not a supporter, not a Genesect or anything. Next turn, I draw a card, and do 70 to, uh, I think it was, um, a Florgus or something, and, like, we're just trading doing damage like he can't really do any much damage I don't think he gets enough fairies out or something so he's only do like 180 or something um <clears throat> but I guess should get a Genesect and uh I G boosted one of his Florgus that had 60 HP 60 HP which uh it seemed kind of weird but I wanted the G booster in the discard pile because I knew the Shadow Triad and the Jirachi were in the deck, so whenever I needed to, I can just like, Ultra Ball for the Jirachi, for the Shadow Triad to get the Jirachi. Um, I guess I could have, like, saved it for later, but I really, I don't know. I was like, two boosts in the discard file. I don't know why. I guess because I'm weird like that. Um, so I G-Booster uh, a Florgus, so now I'm up three. Then, eventually, like, he brings up Mewtwo and knocks out my Genesect. I do 70 with uh, Verzian. He retreats the Mewtwo, sends up something like a, um, maybe a Florgus lead or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. I feel bad for not remembering. But next turn, I do get the positive energy to bring up the uh, Mewtwo. I think this is all correct. I could be wrong. I think I'm not even, not even sure just how it went. I bring up his Mewtwo, do damage to it. Um, next turn, he sends up King's Kong, evolves. Uh, I don't have a way to win that turn. Is this right? I feel like it's somewhat right. I could be wrong. Uh, but I have one prize left. He has four. He sends up a King, Mega King's Con, a King's Con and Mega Vols. And then I punch it with the Genesect, maybe? Maybe Verizian. Can't which one. And um, his turn, he Junipers instead of Ends. And that's kind of a, like I think he in me to one, and at this time I'm, not, I'm like goofing around. I'm like showing I have like Ultra Ball in my hand and stuff. Like I'm literally like I think I'm playing like cards face down right now at this moment. So like I'm showing cards and James Proctor was right behind him and stuff and we're goofing around and I'm having fun and Jeremiah's like I don't know. I mean I understand why he was not being that excited. He is on the losing side, but uh. So I showed I showed I showed Jeremiah have an Ultra Ball and I'm talking like oh yeah I have Jirachi and Shadow Shadow and my deck and stuff and like I'm ready to go and uh, he he Junipers and he sees that like I have two cards in my hand which is an Ultra Ball and uh and uh um, I don't know something random and I top deck it and I top deck something and I was like all right Ultra Ball oh I smacked the King's Con for something and uh, the reason why he didn't end me is because he thought he was like oh you can't G like you can't G boost my King's Con because I healed it with Max Push. And I was like, uh, okay. So Ultra Ball, get Jirachi, get a Shadow Triad, positive energy, bring up one of his Romatees, and uh, one shot it. So he, he was like, man, I should have hit you there. And I was like, well, mistakes happen. That's no, okay. Uh, he did have four prizes, like I said. So I could be wrong with me here, too, but I really think it was four prizes left. So I ended up winning that one. Uh, what am I at? 4 1. So uh, after one round, one loss, we're doing pretty good. Next round, I'm playing against Cena. And uh, Cena's a good guy. <coughs> I've seen him around before. I saw him, met him at Worlds just for a brief second. Uh, so he's playing Darkrai, Evil Tall, and uh, man, this is a rough game. Um, by turn two, he gets a a Darkrai and starts swinging at me and like doing damage. And um, 
I have a Genesect active and I whip an energy turn one. Oh, man, this that stinks. So I uh, turn two, I'm touching the grass energy to Brizian and uh like I said, his turn two he smacked my Genesect, so now I have to like uh No he uh He smacked it with like a laser like okay. Wait, what was it now? Okay, he uh attacked the evil tall, did fifty. And then my turn, I dropped a Brizian touch of grass. His turn, he uh, brings up Darkrai. Does 90 with 90, which brings it to 140, puts 30 on Brizian. And now my turn, I draw, I draw a card. And I can either, like, try to search out and, like, hit a grass switch. Or I can just, like, search out to get a grass. And I go, I'm like, alright. Right. <coughs> I end up just, like, searching just for the grass, which might have been a misplay. I'm not 100% sure. That's some weird stuff happen um so he ends up doing good uh one turn he knocks out okay so he knocks out the genesect son of Rizium. and then i like start a part of G uh genesect on the bench i eventually license up his evil tall x on the bench because i don't want to knock out the dark art just because it can't really do much it can only do 120 i mean 110 no, or 120 120 sorry yeah all right No, one ten. One thing. One yeah, one ten. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe one. Ten. Yeah. Okay. One ten with a muscleman. Sorry. What am I doing? I'm doing bad. <laughs> I'm doing bad. Muscleman's plus twenty. So Dark Eye will do one ten, but Evil Talk and one shot Genesect. So I bring him with Genesect G Booster, and if he's okay, he knocks out the Genesect, and now he have. Uh, no, he never ducks. He, he never ducks. Next, he never knocks out a Genesect. He he ends up like knocking out of Resian sometime. So. Uh, after I G Booster his Evital, I think before I knocked out a baby Evital. So now it's three to two prizes, and uh, he's dead drawing. He's not playing his supporters, and uh, I am like playing the like merry-go-round game. I'm sending up random Pokemon, ammo slashing, like kind of just like attacking with random Pokemon, do damage, and uh, <laughs> I think that's actually when I knocked out Evital, if I remember correctly, and then eventually. Uh, I have to send up Deoxys, like, I can't, like, and I'm gonna put my damage on him, like, no, no matter who I send up, it's gonna knock out. So I send up Deoxys, and I have the third Genesect prize, which, that's, like, what really, that's what really hurt a lot. Um, so like I said, I'm swinging to a damage, his Darker eventually has, like, 80 or 90, maybe, damage on it. And, uh, I send up Deoxys, and, um, his turn, he gets, a. Uh, Deoxys doesn't have a grass energy on it, so he's able to. He already has a must on his, his dark ride, like I said. And he uh, <clears throat> does Nice Spear, 140. And then with, he drops a. I mean, 110. And then he drops a laser, bringing it up to 140. I'm like, man, we're going to we're gonna have to see what happens. Like, no matter what, he's going to win next turn. <coughs> so um, I sent him a damage Genesect. And the reason why I haven't done this early is because he has a. Uh, he was on the bench with like three energies, like a one shot on my Pokemon. Like I said, I'm a Pokemon have like. 60 damage or something like that. Nah, I don't know, something like that. So you can, like, one shot off a Pokemon that he wants to, which is uh, Evil Tall X. So, I do a crazy play where I can, like, double, a double E switch to Deoxys, attach a Grass to Genesect, retreat the Deoxys, and I break up his baby Evil Tall. Now, on his bench, he has, like, an Evil Tall, baby Evil Tall, Raichu, and maybe another baby Evil Tall with the energy. But the baby Utah bring up has no energy, and I noticed that like two turns he hasn't attached to energy. And I'm like, all right, and he has to play his sword. I'm like, all right, so maybe he's either like out of energies. I know for sure he's dead drawing. So when I license her up, I'm like, all right, with 110, 20 on dark ride. Like so, we're bringing up dark ride to like 110, 120, something like that. And <clears throat> the with the has 110 because the deoxys is on the bench. And so next turn, I'm like, all right, if he doesn't, if he doesn't have a dark, I can bring up the other. We can bring back up his dark ride and take three prizes and um I feel kinda bad because at first like Cena put a hundred on it and I didn't notice he put a hundred on it. Like I wasn't like I like guess saying like I'm not really paying attention because 'cause I'm kinda goofing off this league challenge. Um <laughs> but he puts a hundred on it and he hit Ultra Balls and like right when he Ultra Balls I'm like, Hey man, that has a hundred and ten, like <laughs> hold on, like to you, I, he's like, I'll let you to take the ultra ball back like just in case and he's like uh, and he's like, man, doesn't really change like anything. And he's like, just sitting there, and he's like, all right, pass. And I'm like, all right. And so I draw a card, top deck Shadow Chad, Shadow Chad for the plasma energy. Bring up the Eve Dark Ride, take three prizes, 
My agent effect pretends to be a dark card that game, and we come back. Like, I make a comeback of a century. I think he was like, like, four. Like, he had to take like four prizes, I feel like, and I took like six after that. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe I had four left and he had two left. It's something like that. Like, I made a comeback. And you can ask him. It was crazy. The game is really good. Uh, I feel kind of bad because he dead drew. But I mean, that's, that's Pokemon. But, I mean, it was a really good game. And then I ended up getting fourth place. So that does give me 10 more championship points. So right now I'm sitting at uh, 262. Yeah, 262. So 38 left more to go. Uh, not too not too shabby, but uh, like I said, Diffin, 71st at the uh, regionals. And then uh, fourth at the league challenge. So I mean, left with uh, 10 points. And I pulled a Ground on EX out of the packs. So I think it's like the second or third time I've actually got packs from the set. So, and I had fun this weekend, like I said. It was a lot of fun. I had met a lot of people. Uh, two weeks, not next weekend, but the weekend after that, we will be in, I'll be in Florida. We will be in Florida. We, yeah, y'all be in Florida. Come see me. I did have fun meeting people down there. And uh, tomorrow, if, if you're still watching this, uh, tomorrow we will start Primal Clash stuff. Uh, I do have a really interesting deck in mind. It's not that good, but I thought somebody suggested it. And I was like, all right, well, we'll have fun. Why not? But wants all that fun. It's not that competitive deck, it is a uh, very, very rogue. So uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I am trying to get the cards right now. It's very hard when you don't buy packs and you're just trying to do trades for cards. So uh but if you liked the video, I'm sorry there wasn't a game. I just want to talk about my regionals and league challenge experience at St. Louis. Uh, Alright, have a great day and uh, tomorrow we're having a game up. Alrighty, peace out. Bye.